IGCSE Biology Syllabus Statement 247. Here we're looking at the effects of smoking on the lungs and the circulatory system. So here we've got smoking. So the first thing to consider are the tars in cigarette smoke. And the tars can bring about lung cancer. They contain chemicals called polycyclic hydrocarbons and these attack the cells of the lung and cause car uh, cancers. Another thing which can be caused by the TARS is bronchitis. Here we're talking about chronic bronchitis, long-term bronchitis and the kind of things which are going on here are damage to the cilia cells the trachea and the bronchi. Um, we have inflammation um, and we also have excessive mucus production. Now the combination of these three things can lead to infections uh, but on a, the other thing which is characteristically shown is the smoker's cough. In cigarette smoke there is the drug nicotine which is addictive. One of the things that nicotine does is increases blood pressure. Now we need to be aware that the effects can be on causing clotting in the bloodstream and heart damage. One are the tar effects, two is the nicotine effect, and three is the effect of carbon monoxide. So on the individual, carbon monoxide reduces the oxygen carried. In fact, when carbon monoxide joins to hemoglobin, it's very difficult to get the carbon monoxide off and so in fact th this can be lethal. The other effect of the carbon monoxide is reduced oxygen to the developing fetus in a pregnant person, pregnant woman and this can lead to things like reduced birth weight and brain damage and so forth. So three things to consider the effects of smoking tars, nicotine and carbon monoxide.